Hey folks, I want to talk to you a little bit about SD card readers and using them with iMovie. Now the first thing is, some of these card readers, I mean I have one like this where it's a kind of fat and goes in there to your USB port, but you know if, if I try to use it on my laptop or something, you know you almost need a dongle to, to be able to use all the other ports. But they have these newer ones now that, you know, has the dongle built into it and it takes all different cards so you might want to think about getting one of those one of those learn from my mistakes um, so if we plug this in here iMovie should bring up your you know generic USB import and of course you can you know use the automatic and, and pull them all or, or manual and select the ones you want now down here this is called the um, archive all and you know basically what this does is take everything off the card and put it in a directory and then later you can uh, come back and say file uh, import from camera archive and then select one of your archives you made now one thing to remember is doing that is no different than going to your finder Selecting your um, SD card, uh, coming over here to where you keep stuff. I keep mine on my media drive. Creating a new folder, and then you know, dragging or copying all these over to the new folder. Um, so that's just you know. So if you forget or do it outside iMovie, it's no big deal. It'll read it. Um, now, what someone turned me on to something I did not think about, um, and that is the um, the disk utility you know every every um, Apple comes with it and what you can do is just you know to really have a good copy of your SD card is go ahead and create an image of it and it'll even compress it for you now one of the one of the nice things about doing it this way is besides the compression is that if you ever need to go back to your your camera for some reason because I know the new Panasonic 700s and I'm sure you know all the ones coming out after this are going to have additional features like the the 700 can like deinterlace your your uh, progressive footage and and do some other little tricks. So if you you know shot some footage a couple of months ago and then like man I really wish I had done X Y Z to this footage, you can just take this you know standard you know Apple disk image and flash it back to the SD card, stick it back in the camera, and the camera will, as far as it knows, you know, just have shot it a couple months ago, and it's still on the card. So, all things to think about. As always, thanks for watching.